Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Maradian here at the Navy League's annual Sea Air Space Conference and Trade Show in National Harbor, Maryland, just outside Washington. And we have with us uh, Brian Clark for the Center for Strategic and Budgetary Assessments. Brian, thanks very much uh, for your time. I know you're very pressed, so you just uh, moderated a panel discussion uh, with Mr. Courtney from uh, Connecticut, the Democrat, obviously uh, re representing a sound submarine building state, uh, as well as the chairman of the of the Sea Power Committee, Chairman Whitman. Um, talk to us a little bit about what some of the key takeaways were from the discussion. Well, thanks for having me on, Vago. Uh, the uh, key takeaways were really uh, Congress needs to be uh, working on develop or conducting a or completing rather an appropriations bill this year, rather than having a CR for the remainder of the year or a continuing resolution. Uh, the, the Defense Department needs that appropriations bill in order to move the money to the correct locations, so that they're able to restore readiness to the fleet and to the rest of the, the armed forces, as well as start procuring the systems needed to be able to build up the military in the way that the president wants to. What were their sort of pro the key programs that they were focused on because obviously lawmakers are interested in uh, you know what benefits generally their constituency or what they can bring home what were some of the top programs you guys talked about well, we talked about the importance of submarines uh, to the future fleet uh, but then also of uh, aircraft carriers and of uh, aviation so one of the things that uh, that congressman Whitman brought up was the need for innovation in our acquisition process to be able to more rapidly get new capabilities to the fleet and because one of the concerns that Congress has is uh, we tend to to tie all of our new systems to a platform, and that platform takes 20 to 30 years to get from concept to fruition, uh, and they want to try to speed that timeline up. And so one of the things they talked about was separating out the idea of the platform or the, or the manned ship uh, separately from the aircraft or the other payloads that it might carry, so weapons and, and sensors and mission systems. So they were trying to look for ways to accelerate that timeline. Uh, but in terms of submarines, what we talked about was the fact that the submarine industrial base you know, is operating right now at capacity. And if the Navy wants to go to an eventual fleet of 66 attack submarines from its current 54 uh, and eventual 48, uh, then they're going to have to ramp up production. That's going to require an investment in the industrial base to make it capable of expanding its capacity. I'm, I'm ready to dust off my three a year t-shirt and start wearing it. Um, let me ask you about, a, you know, you mentioned platforms, but obviously one of the debates that's going on or the discussion in the Navy, obviously uh, littoral combat ship. Right two versions of that ship, the Navy had decided, hey, that's a design we want to stay with, we want to frigatize, we want to make a frigate version of that ship. There is a study now um, ongoing as the Navy looks at what attributes that ship should have. Right. Should it, for example, be an air defense uh, ship, just like the Perry class were. Do you think that that, what do you think the attributes of that frigate should be, and do you think that air defense should be a core attribute of those future ships? So what we found in our fleet architecture study was that we needed to expand the surface fleet to make it larger and to give it a wider range of platforms. Uh, so the Navy today is looking to build about 108 uh, or so large surface combatants or destroyers and then have about 52 of these smaller surface combatants or frigate combination with LCS. That is not a diverse enough fleet or a large enough surface fleet to be able to do the kind of distributed lethality or distributed operational concepts that Admiral Roden and other surface warriors want to do. So you need to expand the surface fleet and give you more ships with uh, more distributed fires. So this this frigate, as a component of that, needs to have the ability to do offensive fire. So it's got to be able to carry sur strike missiles, surface warfare missiles, and then it also it, it needs to be able to do air defense both for itself and for an adjacent ship. That allows it to do mutually supporting air defenses if it's operating in a distributed force that's con composed of surface action groups. It also allows it to do the escort mission of a non-combatant ship or a convoy, which is something that in war time we would need to do, but we currently don't actually have anything in the fleet that's designed to do that mission. The LCS won't be able to do it, and the destroyer fleet of today is going to be sub-optimized if we take it and use it to escort non-combatant ships. It also take those destroyers away from the carrier protection or ballistic missile defense operations that they're likely to be needed for. So does that drive you then to something like a multi-purpose frigate, which is what the Perry class were, which had decent anti-submarine capabilities, but also could be linked into a battle network that gives you, right. with an SM-2, with the standard missile 2, which gives you a little bit longer reach, for example, than an involved Sea Sparrow, which is a much more sort of 30 mile, much more closer in weapon. Right. Yeah, certainly. We, would, we are advocating that the Navy needs to have a frigate that has a, a VLS magazine on, or vertical, vertical launch system magazine. That would enable it to carry ESSM, which we think is a very high capacity sort of air defense weapon, but it may not be appropriate for escort missions in particular, where you're having to defend another ship that's adjacent to you. Uh, and with the speed of some of the new anti-ship cruise missiles, you may have to rely on an SM-2 to be able to get the geometry such that you can defend that adjacent ship. So yeah, it's got to be able to carry SM-2, uh, and it needs to be able to network with other ships to be 
be able to provide air defense or an air defense magazine to support the radar uh, contact that's coming from another ship. So it might be able to operate in concert with a DDG, for example, and provide a magazine that that DDG can draw from for, fire, for uh, doing fires in support of air defense. And ASW, how important do you think that mission is going to be? So ASW is very important for the frigate, uh, and then how we do ASW is going to be what drives what the attributes specifically are. Uh, so in particular, the Navy is going to probably have to move in the future more towards what we did in the Cold War, which is a defensive ASW approach for the fleet, where the, the purpose of the fleet's ASW capabilities was to drive away submarines before they got within range of their anti-ship cruise missiles, rather than trying to kill all the submarines that come anywhere near the uh, surface action group or the carrier strike group. So that means we need uh, frigates that have uh, variable depth sonar, to do active sonar to find these submarines or to uh, and have a multifunction tote array that allows them to receive active sonar both their own but more importantly uh, by statically from something else that might be transmitting because in the future the the ship that is emitting this uh, sonar signal is likely to be a target itself so the frigate is going to need to most importantly act as a receiver for the active sonar that's bounced off and maybe the active sonar is actually mounted on an unmanned vehicle like the DARPA Sea Hunter unmanned surface vehicle so the the frigate will be a component of a ASW network uh, but may not be a monolithic ASW platform that does everything by itself Brian, thanks very much. I've got 10 more questions for you, but I know you've got to run. Thanks very much. Thanks, Vago. It was great seeing you again.